All right, now grand finals. Yeah. Listen, it's never grand finals without a little hiccup somehow, some way. But Carful on winner's side, John on losers. Yeah, I was going to mention, yeah, so if you enjoy the highlights, they, they go on YouTube uh, the next morning. Uh, so keep it uh, next week, uh, tomorrow morning. and uh, I mean, that's going to be in the highlight reel right yeah. there. It better be. Uh, Editor, yeah. get on that. And, uh, yeah. Epicarpo is going to have a hard time once he is off stage against John. Cloud's recovery just so exploitable. But as long as he can keep center stage, he can do this. Nice little deep breathing. And misses the spike hitbox, though. And back here out of shields. But now with limit here. Oh, but John gets the grab. Sets up there with the soccer ball, but nice bait there. Ooh, Carflow ready, but so is John. Forcing Carflow to burn that limit. Doing a great job of just staying out of range from that dash attack. And the fair. John is so back, looking for a three stock in the first game of this set. He thought we were going to end early? No, not today. I just staying out of his way, setting up at ledge. Oh. Okay. And the tech, I feel like, oh alright. I was like, Carflow, I think you saved him. Never mind, he wanted to kill him his own way. What a spike. Alright, no dash attack. Misses the grab. John dancing around. Has a deep breathing. Back air out of shields. Nice low profile there from Carflow. Avoiding the back air. This is some new tech that he's going to have to implement if he wants to stand a chance. If John Numbers is behind, is facing behind you, then hey, might as well just duck. He can't get too much off a of grab, so that's probably better. There we go, dash attack on platform. I mean, it'll last a long time, so it will stop John trying to jump at you. All right, no juggle. John's starting to juggle of his own, though. Waiting. Grab. Oh, the car flow just air dodging right on time. One more bear. Oh, it doesn't look like Harfrill really wanted to use that limit. He's like, eh, we'll go on to the next game. I feel like just throwing away that last dog, I feel like he's considering going another character, huh? Huh? Maybe. No. Maybe. It looks like we're going Final Destination instead. I think he's starting to realize that maybe Small Battlefield is not his stage against John. We need something a little flatter, a little fairer. We're fighting for glory here. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! This is going to give John fewer options to land safely on stage, so I think this is going to be really good. And Carful can space a lot more with the beam. There we go, getting started. I mean, if you do miss space that cross slash, it is easily punishable, especially when John has such a fast dash. Let's see how Carful starts to use this limit in this game. Is he going to use it off stage? Is he going to use it to recover? No, not going to use it at all. Instead, we're just going to have to recharge it here. Hey, better not to use it and just have a bit of a powered up cloud for a little bit instead of just to waste it and then get punished. There we go. One more limit. Great recovery. All right, Carful's just using it uh, just to save his skin now. Another back air. Forward air. Oh! All right. Both safely on stage. Cross slash not going to kill. All right, the back air finally finding its mark. Carflow up for the first time this set. And limits. All right, forces John to jump. It's in a great position. Miss face in the back air. Carful's like, what? My back air missed? How could my back air miss? It's the best move. John was just a little too low. Carful miss faced it. We will check the replay on that, but right now, John Embers is trying to have a replay of this first game and reset the bracket. Alright, off stage. No spike from Carflow. 
once more Limit is here. Oh, and John is just a little too low to recover from that footstool. And Carful is back at it again once more in the lead. All right, John having the shield. Has deep breathing though, gonna live just a little bit longer. Hit a little bit harder. And John is trying to fade back just a little bit whenever recovering just to avoid another footstool like that. Rolls back on stage. Carfo pretty much in his face, remembering just how far we fit rolls back on. Another header. Another grab. Give it once more. Cross slash off stage. Oh, I think I think there was a bigger punish there. Could have done the cross slash. Instead, we're getting an up air. Ooh, but a back air to the face. And a forward air. John, 72% behind, but not out of it just yet. Once off stage, gets hit by the soccer ball. All right, Garfield trying to bait out with the back air. Hey, if it doesn't hit, it's going to at least hit shield, but did get punished for it. And just like that, even percent on last stock. John's setting up for something. Another grab, another set. Deep breathing. And a forward tilt is going to take us to true grand finals. Crawford just checking his uh, thumbstick there, being like, hey, you all right? You okay? You're good. All right, but true finals right here. Carflow doesn't look phased at all. And, John, and they're taking it back to small battlefield. It's like the first game all over again, but Carflow is hoping for a different outcome. I'm not super Three, sure two, what, like... One, go. Cloud isn't really a character that, like, get, like has hard counter picks. Uh... Yeah, so like, I'd, I'd say you're trying to fight against John's comfort level here. Yeah, I, I would say, like, you know, Cloud's definitely a character that is, like, he's one of the example characters that, like, plays sort of quintessential Smash Brothers outside of getting the, the weird power-up. Uh, but, like, the way the way he approaches and stuff like that, it's all very, like, straightforward. And, um, like, if you, if you have... Ooh! Whoa. John Ooh. just read his soul! Yeah. But yeah, so like, I don't think he like is gonna benefit from like, uh, like a hard like stage or whatever. So I, I can totally understand just like running it back and stuff. I mean, he did do a lot better on Final Destination. <laughs> no, never mind. You know what? Small Battlefield apparently doing just fine. <laughs> you, you were saying? <laughs> Look, I've said a lot of wrong things and things in my life. Okay, that being one of the worst. Okay. So the question is, will John 4 0 perhaps? Oh, I do not think so. I think Carflow. I think Carflow. You know, having uh, a little bit of a warm up there on that set. Uh, I think he's uh, here with a better mindset. Just like John has a different mindset. Whenever you have a different set, Carflow is bringing, is doing a lot better here, challenging John at ledge, reading better getup options. But it's just hard to land against John. All right, back on the platform, off stage. All right, jumping to safety. That's probably why they chose small battlefield, just so they have an extra option to land. There we go. Finally throwing out those on the cross slashes. It's not something they were using in the last two games. That's so interesting because he did it like really early. Uh, and so like that was like a read on the normal getup attack. Because it's not like John could have reacted to try and like get up attack and like, you know, take advantage of the invincibility to like wait it out. Um, that was just, uh, yeah, just kind of knew that he was going to do it, and, and it worked. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does cover a lot of options, and yeah. John, I mean, hey, you can't stay there forever. Yeah, I, I just, the other thing is just like, it's such a kind of commitment to knowing that they're not going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, John doesn't like to roll back on stage, but you know what? Carpo doesn't like to get 4 owed finally taking the first game in this brand new set. And it looks like we're just going to run it back to Small Battlefield. It's a comfort pick for John. It's working well for Carflow. Why change what's not broke? Yeah. Alright. John's going to have to focus up. 
I believe he's gonna try and be a lot more aggressive this game. He was more on the defensive in the last one. So let's see him press his advantage. Try and get some more spikes off stage. Powerful trying to get some more cross slashes here as well. Try and get this damage. Back here? Back here? No. There we go, Carful swinging it there. Oh, oh, unfortunately, a bit of a missed input there, throwing away the, the crossbeam. Maybe just want a better punish tool out of shields. It makes sense. Alright, dash attack. Back off stage. And a back here through the platform. Nice use of the blade beam. Limit just almost there. One more hit against John. Or maybe a hit on him, and I'll be fully powered up. All right, missed the cross slash. John just hanging the ledge, his favorite place. Ooh, catches the air dodge. And John isn't dead yet. Cross slash isn't going to kill yet either, but Limit is all charged up, ready to roll. But all you need is a back air. Not dead yet. John with some such good patience. The way that Carful really wants to climb. <laughs> Sheer force of will. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Both of them just rolling in. You can feel the nerves. You can, you can tell. Ooh, that's really good. I was gonna say the first person, uh, whoever takes the first stock, is in like a really good position. Although you could die to a sneeze. Ah, uh, yeah. And a sneeze we saw. Achoo! Anyway, John does have deep breathing. Carful just trying not to swing at air. Gets caught with the sun. But hey, Limit Cloud, pretty good. Trying to go for another cross slash limit here. No, instead we're getting the grab. Ooh, it's gonna go off stage. I like that threat. And right. the limit's gone. Waited out. Limit is gone, but you know what? The threat is gonna be there in about a <laughs> few seconds again. It's never quite gone. Is Cloud ever not threatening? Like, I, you know, look at the sword. He may be whiny, but he's top tier for a reason. Oh boy. All right, jumping in. Great anti-air. Just catching him. All right, rolling in. No, soccer ball. Creating some space. John just being a little too happy there in the air. Carflow with a good back air. Holding it once more. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, oh that's bad. What? 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 <laughs> but can we see a replay of that one? Yeah. But why did you do that, huh? I. I hey, bud. You. You <laughs> right there? I. I hope he is. I. I have no idea what happened. He hit the shield. John. John air dodged away. Was that a bait? Did he do that on purpose? Where are you oh, going there, he, bud? He fast fell. <laughs> but you know what? John will take that. Up in the lead. <laughs> the 121. And Carful already at 89%. Did, did he burn a jump? Like, I don't understand. I, I think he burned... I'm looking again. I think he burned he a did, jump. He did burn a jump. Oh, so he, he thought he had another jump. He literally... IDJ'd, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there That's we go. That's stock, yeah. Um, That's a stock, but you know what? Carful stock could be down here. <laughs> Just a moment. John could take this game. But we have seen Carful come back from worse before. But against John, I mean, listen. You lose the stock, you're probably going to lose the game. Ooh. Oh, jeez. There we go. We're going to game three soon. <laughs> John, you exactly what's going to happen. Carful is trying to try and go for a fair. Trying to go for a sneaky uh -oh, uh -oh, kill. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. This is big. Cloud things, cloud things, cloud things, cloud things. Ooh. Okay. Where's right. your shield, John? Oh, my God. I still want 65. Finally has deep breathing. <laughs> Not gonna try and okay. overextend, right. but the knees will take it. And Carful just beating himself up a little bit. Being like, yes, that was my entire fault that I lost that second stock. Because you're right, he did burn the jump, thought he had it, and he was confused at why it wasn't coming out. I mean, at that point, you just gotta use your limits. Battle him up with soul. That is perfect game three music for true grand finals. No thinking, just Smash Bros. Back to Small Battlefield. It couldn't happen any other way on John's birthday. You gotta fight for your birthday cake. 
Just have to run out a lot more small stunts here. Going off stage, but for what purpose? To harass Carflow. The regrab situation. And John is taking advantage of the fact that if Carflow gets frustrated during a set, he sort of loses his tempo. While some players will play a lot faster, other players will play a lot more careful. Carflow will play just a bit sloppier. I mean, this is a, a, a strong-ish lead. Uh, you know, having Cloud at 90 is like some like you can kind of bank on like some of the stronger hits to like, kind of put them in an edge guard situation. So it could be good. All right, not rolling on stage, but baiting out an aerial attack from Carflow. Back to the other ledge. Soccer coming in handy though. Good grab. Cross slash limit. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I see what was going on. I, I like the idea, you know, I was trying to like punish the get up with the up B, which is something that is like really uh, <laughs> important, but. I mean, he's actually using the soccer ball to try and extend the hitbox, so if John delayed a get up or even a jump in, it would have hit. But you know what? Just uh, just back her off stage. We'll take that first stock. Pretty even here. A car full was angry. All right, no re grab there. Good header cre to create space. Carful getting a little frustrated. Very frustrated. Try and go for a dash attack instead of grab. Set up a juggle situation. John is going back to ledge. His favorite place. She'll get up. Oh my god. Tries to rebound the soccer ball. Get some more damage. Oh my gosh. Well, Carful has been a little grab happy there, so might as well go for the spawn dodge and avoid it. This movement around the platform, Carful is just keeping John on his toes. Alright, nice up air. A dash attack still hitting John. Carful's gonna go deep. Had the tech. Another grab. John understands just that that fear is there and gets the spike. Carflow up one whole stock and could be Xeno 339's champion, but needs to take John's last stock here. Point blank, son. I like that get up attack. Ugh. Oh my gosh. John is looking for a kill. Like he's doing stuff like that down air, uh, taking a page out of Falcon's book. You ever, you ever seen a kid at a birthday party blow out the candles on the oh. birthday kid's Ugh. cake? That's what Carflo wants to be, and it's going to feel so good. It's like, no, my wish is to win. When you when you push their face into the cake. Mordida! Ah, ah, Mordida! Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh, this is big. Oh my gosh. There you go, John. Dancing around Carflo. Gets the setup. But there is limits. The greatest comeback mechanic in Smash. Ah. This is terrifying. Oh my god, missed the grab, but both ha, missing exactly ha, what they wanted. Ha, yeah. mm. Oh my god, no. John off stage. Recovery? What, that, what a weird recovery. And the no. limit ran out. That's insane. Oh, this is something that John does a lot. Uh, I don't really get to comment on it a lot, but he'll air dodge in one direction towards the ground, and then when he texts, goes in the opposite direction. Ooh. Which is like a really good juke that is like extremely hard to uh, to react to. Oh, oh my ah, gosh, the dash. John is almost dead. Limit almost online. Ah, ah. Oh, almost a smash attack. All right, but finally, Carflow in the air. But really, that limit is almost there. Gets a grab. Sets up for something. Limit is there. All right, limit and deep breathing. Oh, it's really whoever strikes first. I think it's going to be a cross limit slash. Or like back air. There is no jump. I feel like Carflow wins. No! Oh my god! Wow. And Carflow wins by what an amazing read. Carful is your Xeno 339 champion. That yeah. really clipped John's toes right there. Wow. And John finds his face right in the middle of his birthday cake. Still delicious. Oh, let's, just a little let's, embarrassing. Let's that that's so right. What a what an ending. He jumped. Oh my god, it was the last hit of the sign. I feel it didn't even look like it was gonna hit. I feel like John could have like not veered in a, like May a little bit longer. I don't know. No. Mm, no. I don't know.
I yeah. I, uh, I think he would have died that's, because that set up at least Carful for really a neutral hard. air, uh, or or just upbeat. <laughs> John fight. wasn't even able to flip the controller onto the table. It fell to the floor. Wow. That's how surprised John was. Man, what an amazing ending! What an amazing grand final set. Carflo, honestly, that one's for the books. That was incredible. John, you got some homework for the VOD review if you ever do VOD review. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna tell him what to do. All right, he's. He's in Grand Finals, I'm not. But you know what, if you too want to try your hand at Vent getting into Grand Finals, you can come to Xeno Weeklies every Wednesday, right here in the heart of Chinatown, 21 Ludlow Streets, hosted by the wonderful House of 3000 here at Xeno Zero Gaming NYC in the last uh, few months of its standing. So don't miss out, it's only 15 bucks. And if you can't make it, you can always watch at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. But they also do run bombs on Monday. It is the ultimate grinder bracket. So if you do want to try your hand and be like, hey, you know, I need to grind up. I need to get a few matches under my belt. Bombs is the best way to do it. 7 p.m. every Monday, only $10. Same place, same time. And we do have to thank House of 3000 for the wonderful production. If you guys enjoyed the highlight reel, if you guys enjoyed the set, the quad stream technology, no one does it better than House. Catch them on Twitter.com, Blue Sky, Twitch.tv, Subscribe to their YouTube to catch all the VODs recorded here on all the recorded sets and join the community at houseof3000.nyc slash discord. And if oh. you ever do want to hire them for anything, events at houseof3000.nyc. Yeah, also just to mention, I don't have a slide for it, but uh, this Saturday is Xenosaga. Come through, $10 singles, $10 doubles, five each, uh, and um, $10... Yeah, it's just all day. And Redemption Bracket as well. Oh, I'm excited for that. Listen, I could use a Redemption or two. But before that, we do have Dave & Buster's this Wednesday. Well, next Wednesday, April 18th. You know, number 11. Hey, it's some serious business. You know, <laughs> we, ha we had a few people, you know, talking some trash there. Ended up in a money match at Waypoint yesterday. It is some pretty insane stuff. You don't want to miss it. It's free entry. If there are 32 players, there will be a small little prize pool that you can use to buy a few drinks. You know, it's the house's money, why not? Shout out to the Legendary West for hosting a legendary event, and we'll see you there. And also something to look forward to is Lock Inc. That's going to be Friday, May 3rd, over there at the Tattoo Parlor just down the street from us, only a block away. $10 venue, $10 for singles. And if uh, you don't want, and if you go 0-2, you are forced to sing karaoke. Come on, <laughs> you're not going to go 0-2. And if you want to do karaoke anyway, hey, I'm going to do karaoke anyway. 0 2 -er, but hey, but if I get one, two, 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 why not? Karaoke's still gonna be a blast. So are you ready to lock ink? Sign up now. Though I do think that signups are probably capped. Maybe, maybe they'll open up some more slots. Who yeah. knows? But what I do know is that this is the end of our broadcast. Xeno339 was an absolute blast. Thank you to all of our players, thank you to production, and thank you for you, the lovely viewers who subscribe, watch, share. We wouldn't be here without you. Have a wonderful night, take care, I will see you next week. Good night. Good night. Have a good one.